Hey guys, welcome back to New Zealand Mysteries. It's TJ. Uh, if you're new around here, uh, I cover cases from New Zealand mainly, uh, true crime, unsolved mysteries, unsolved murders I should say, and missing persons. But I really wanted to branch out and do some international stories. So today we're going to the US and looking at the double disappearance of Diamond Bynum and King Walker. For those who are not in the US like me, Indiana is here and um, we've got Michigan here, Illinois, Kentucky and Ohio. If we pop over to Wikipedia, Gary is a city in Lake County, Indiana, United States, 25 miles or 40 k's from downtown Chicago, Illinois. Gary is adjacent to the Indiana Dunes National Park and borders southern Lake Michigan. The population of Gary was 80,294 at the 2010 census, making it the ninth largest city in the state of Indiana. However, that was 10 years ago, so I'm sure um, there's been a change. The city suffers from unemployment, decaying infrastructure and low literacy and educational attainment levels. It is estimated that nearly one third of all houses in the city are unoccupied or abandoned. So we're going to start here at the Charlie Project and her full name of Diamond, Daisy Bobby Monet Bynum and you just see some photos of this awesome smile. Missing since the 25th of the 7th 2015 from Gary, Indiana, classified as endangered missing. She is a black female. Her date of birth is the 18th of February 94. She would be 26 now. She was 21 when she went missing. Four foot eight, so rather short, 210 to 238 pounds. She was wearing a white top and blue jeans. Now this is very important. Bynum has prader Willy syndrome, a genetic condition with symptoms including mental disability, short stature and a constant feeling of hunger. Bynum has the mental capacity of a five to seven year old and it's difficult for her to communicate with other others her family understands her however and she knows her father's phone number she needs medication which she doesn't have with her when she doesn't take it she develops behavior problems and may become a danger to herself she is an african-american female black hair brown eyes bynum has a bowed leg and walks with a pronounced limp as a result and she will often walk with one arm bent she had gold highlights in her hair at the time of her disappearance and her teeth are very misaligned. So right off the bat, we have a very, very vulnerable young lady. Um, obviously, though, she was a very happy young lady because she's always smiling, but it's very, very concerning. And the investigating agency is the Gary Police Department at 219-881-1260. And I'm going to put all that information in the description box below. If her being missing wasn't scary enough, um, she went missing with her with two-year-old King Walker. So missing from Gary, Indiana, 2015, the 25th of July. Um, black male, he would be seven now. His date of birth is 11th of May 2013, but he was only two years old when he went missing. So they're saying three foot and 34 pounds, wearing a blue t-shirt and red shorts. He's an African-American male, black hair, brown eyes. King's hair was styled in dreadlocks at the time of his disappearance. And this photo down here is actually an age progression photo done by the missing and exploited children and that shows what king may look like now at age seven so right off the bat we have two very very uh vulnerable people missing young uns missing he's vulnerable because of his age he's only two and diamond is vulnerable because of her condition and that's is scaring me a lot. Let's go on. Next I'm going to truecasefiles.com. Now I didn't know about this site um, but it's got a lot of cases on it. It's very interesting and the writers or writer does a good job of uh, putting things together. 
Diamond Bynum, 21, and her nephew, King Walker, 2, have been missing since July the 25th, 2015, prior to their disappearance. Diamond had recently moved from Hammond to Gary, Indiana. She lived with her father, Eugene, and stepmother, Suzanne. While King was the son of Diamond's sister, also lived in Gary with his mother, Ariana Walker. On the morning Diamond and King vanished, King was dropped off at Diamond's father's house, Eugene, so he could spend the day with his grandparents and his aunt. A few hours after King's arrival, Suzanne and King took a nap. When Suzanne awoke from her nap around 11am, both King and Diamond were gone. Um, And that just sounds heartbreaking. It was initially believed that Diamond had taken King for a walk. Diamond enjoyed taking walks and did so often when her family lived in Hammond. However, Diamond was still fairly new to Gary at this point, so that's worrying. So she was not as familiar with the area. This immediately concerned family members as Diamond has a genetic disorder called Prader-Willi syndrome, which causes her cognitive development to be delayed according to the Prader-Willi syndrome association. The disorder is, quote, typically characterized by low muscle tone, short stature, incomplete sexual development, cognitive disabilities, behavioral problems, and the hallmark characteristics, which are chronic feelings of insatiable hunger and a slowed metabolism that can lead to excessive eating and life-threatening obesity. Sounds absolutely horrible. Diamond's family members stated that Diamond reportedly has the mental capacity of a seven-year-old, and... Some reports say five-year-old, sometimes seven-year-old, but then we look on Charlie Pro- Charlie Project and it says five to seven, so that's what we're going with. After briefly searching for Diamond and King, Suzanne called authorities to report them missing. A large-scale search began with numerous volunteers, but nothing of importance was found. Additionally, investigators received tips stating that Diamond and King were seen together at a local gas station. Those leads were pursued, but investigators unfortunately came up empty. Then, local sex offenders were investigated, and it was announced that police wanted to question a person of interest, but nothing ever came of it. Since then, tips have reportedly been far and few between. Um, Diamond and King remain missing today. Their family members are desperately hoping for closure in this case. If you have any information that could lead to Diamond and or King's whereabouts, contact Gary Police Department, and obviously I'll have that in the description box below. i seen, this is reddit.com, and there was something on there about the case. The Bynum family never thought they would be in the same position a year after two of their loved ones disappeared without any answers. Family members believe Diamond took her nephew on a walk in the new neighbourhood and became lost, remembering that she hadn't long moved to Gary, Indiana. After that, what happened to them is something that is troubling to think about, Eugene says, because of Diamond's disability, and that's her father. Eugene says, I don't believe they are in Gary anymore. We have searched thousands of abandoned homes and buildings. It takes 10 minutes to get out of Gary, and we're close to the border. They aren't here. In the weeks after the pair went missing, hundreds of volunteers came in full force to offer whatever aid they could. Dozens of searches were conducted across the town. Flyers littered shop windows and stopped light poles. Nothing significant was reported. Authorities say they have exhausted all leads and no new ones have surfaced. Unfortunately, there have been no new tips, leads or developments in the last six months. And that was from Corporal Douglas Drummond of the Gary Police Department. Eugene and the rest of the family believe that there has not been enough done by authorities to bring the two home. Eugene Bynum Jr. and his daughter Diamond and the Bynum family say they want the FBI to take over the case. Eugene says if they had taken this seriously from our first call, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now because Diamond and King would be home and safe. If the FBI can't take over, we would like to know exactly why they don't fit the criteria. Um, that's interesting because it's very, uh, well, I mean, they could have gone over state lines so easily. So doesn't that mean the FBI can get involved? I'm not sure. While clues are scarce, 
hope is still evident. Eugene has avoided social media the past few months after someone reportedly hacked his Facebook account and posted a fake confession stating that he was responsible for the disappearance. He is not. And that's really, really sad. Um, if that's true, if someone really hacked his Facebook and, and put that on, uh, that's horrible for him. Horrible. We're going to abc7chicago.com. Family of missing Gary Boy Hunt, the aunt, hopes new age progression photo solves the five-year mystery. So, of course, this was the age progression photo from the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children, and this is what he would look like now, Mr. King Walker. There's a renewed push to find King Walker and Diamond Bonin. The two-year-old boy and his 21-year-old aunt disappeared five years ago this weekend. Their family hopes an age progression photo will help solve the mystery. Lashan Walker, a family member, said, It is crazy. I don't understand how they could go missing for five years and no one knows anything. Lashan is King's grandmother and Bynum's mother. She says, I wouldn't wish it on my enemy. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. The National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children provided a photo of how King might look now as a seven-year-old boy. Joshua Williams is King's father. He said Gary police have been silent about the state of the investigation. Five years, nothing. They won't even call my phone and say we are still looking. We got a new investigator on it, Williams said. Um, and it's hard when people think that the police aren't doing the best they can. That's very, very tough on the family. Lashan says you've got to take it day by day and sometimes I don't think I'm going to make it through the day. It's hard, it's rough. We can't go on like this each day trying to live our lives and not knowing anything. They're hoping that someone will contact police with vital information and they will be able to reunite with the pair. The family believes they're still alive. I would say come forward, this is somebody's child, you would want someone to do this if it was your loved one, Williams said. The family is going to continue to fight for answers, they said. Very, very sad. Um, there's Diamond with that smile on her face. It's uh, it's there. And the age progression photo of King. So this is the ChicagoTribune.com. Man continues to wait for daughter and grandson to come home five years after they went missing in Gary. When Diamond Bynum comes home, she's going to get whatever her heart desires for her new room. Her dad Eugene and stepmom Suzanne moved out of the Gary home where Diamond and her nephew King Walker went out for a walk and seemingly disappeared into thin air more than five years ago. Diamond's belongings are now in a closet waiting for her to return. Then Eugene said maybe they'll head to their favourite restaurant or to her favourite restaurant, Nick and George's in Hammond, for big cheeseburgers. She loves the cheeseburgers there, Bynum said. I took her there for her birthday on February the 15th, which was just months before she and King disappeared, and we took a picture there that I have as his social media picture. Happy. They both always look happy. And he says the guilt never stops. He wonders all the time if someone Diamond recognised happened by while they were out and took them and each time the phone rings with an unknown number he can't help but believe it's Diamond because his is the only number she knew. He just knows in his being that the two are still out there. At one point Bynum was ready to hire a private investigator and needed police records but he was told no. He said because it was still an active case. Gary Police Spokesman Commander Jack Hamity confirmed that it is. We've received tips regarding sightings of them throughout the country and we've sent leads to outside agencies if it is needed to follow up on the tips for Gary, Hamady said via email. We have had the Indiana State Police and the NWI Major Crimes Task Force assist in this case as well. He continues, as of now, it is still active, and if anything new comes in, we do follow up on all leads. Uh, of course, they got the help from National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children, which produced the age progression photo of King Walker and what he might look like at the age of seven. 
Eugene Seals said that he feels to the bottom of his soul that they remain alive. And he says Ariana gave DNA samples to police and if anybody's pop up, a match would appear and it hasn't, Bynum said. So this is very, very sad for the family and obviously they just don't want to give up hope. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the... Every state seems to be different in America with regards to rules on getting police reports or, or what have you. So I'm not sure if they are allowed to get the police reports, but it doesn't appear that the police have done that much. I can't find many other articles about it. They all just say the same thing. There doesn't seem to be any tips or anything coming in, which is very, very sad. I did find this Facebook page, Help Find Diamond Bynum and King Walker, and one of the last announcements was 12th of March 2020, so it wasn't that long ago that people were posting to it. They also have here that they've got to go fund me, a $1,000 reward for the safe return of Diamond and King Walker, and if I look at what they want it says that they reached $1,875 and they have stopped accepting donations thank you very much for being with me and listening to the story of these two young'uns and they're obviously something's went wrong I mean she knew her dad's phone number so there was something holding her back from ringing ringing her dad but she was so vulnerable and, you know, with the capacity of just a five to seven year old, I mean, someone could have told her that they were related to her and then mum said to, that she had to go with them and offered her food. It could be that simple and King's just going to carry on and follow because he's only two and that's his aunt. Um, they're so close to the border as well. I don't know why the FBI couldn't get involved. Don't know the rules around that. Um, and it's been five years it's been a long time and there's not much hope for for this but the family is keeping hopeful and they do believe that these two are alive so please share this let people know in america your friends to look out for these two look out for their photos uh, thank you very much. Please subscribe and like the vo the video if you can. It really means a lot to me and it helps me out a lot. Okay, have a good day. Thanks, guys.